Howdy everybody, once again, we are coming to you, man, somewhere in the middle of the hot, windy middle of nowhere, and uh, I'll sell that stuff, but we're still gonna come out here and have some fun, because every day on the range is a fun day, right, right. So, after I quit messing around with this, like I should have done beforehand, we're going to take a look at what we're going to do. Look at that. We got our new Monstrum Hornet. 6 to 24 by 50. Mounted up on a rim fire, which is our Glenfield model 60. Look at that. Look, mine's even kind of special. It's got a painting on it. That was some custom work, boy. And, uh, so wow. We're going to try this thing out for real. I've already got it sighted in. We have a target out there at 50 yards. Can zoom in a little bit. I think we're going to start on that top dot up there. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. Last time I had this rifle out, e, uh, I had an upgraded scope at the time. <laughs> and uh, that would have been a hmm, a center point 4 to 16 boy with an illuminated reticle which you couldn't even hardly use <laughs> but hey man it was an upgrade at the time and I hadn't learned my lesson yet so man we were getting at best one and a half inch groups at 50 yards so we got this new better scope and it is better man i'm i think i'm starting to dig this thing and at the price point guys i just don't think you can beat it man it's uh it works works for real man and uh, we're going to put it to the test right now. I think I I got it dialed in a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be hitting the bullseye. Maybe we'll give a couple clicks here and there and try and remedy that. But um, we got 10 rounds of standard or CCI standard velocity in the tube. And uh, they're just screaming to be shot. So let's get set up and we'll see you in just a second. All right, well, we're ready to do this. Uh, we are going to start on our top three inch dot. And uh, man, we're just going to, maybe we'll just put like five rounds, see if I really want to make any kind of corrections, or maybe we'll just kind of shoot for groups. Um... So I've had some questions asked about this reticle. I'm going to try and answer that best I can. I've got this reticle set at 16 power. The center dot in the reticle does not fill the diamond the black diamond in the center of the, the three inch circle. It's probably about half the size, so if I zoom this thing all the way to 24, and it's still, it fits right inside the diamond. So, you know, man, these lines are a little thick, but they are no way not usable. And I can see very, very clear, even zoomed in at 24. 
So, I mean, I could probably deal with the focus just a smidge, but I'm not even going to. So, we're going to turn this back down to 16. That's kind of what I'm digging right now. We're going to go back up to our top target. And we're going to shoot one right at the center. And uh, you have to load one in order for it to work. Alright, well, here's how we hit right there. I don't think we're gonna really jack with this uh, scope too much. Let's shoot another one. Uh oh. I did not have that problem earlier. It ran through all 10 very well while I was sighting in. Hope we don't have that too much. Well then. That was probably some of that wind I shot right in the middle of a gust. Yeah, man, uh, wow. Guess y'all can see what's going on down there. Well, there went one of them flyers, I think. Man, all in all, wow. Another misfire, and now we're out. Oh, wow. That was 10 rounds. Hmm. <laughs> and, uh, wow. Let's go see how we did. Wow. I'm happy. All right, well. Here's our target. Zoom y'all out a little bit. And a holy cow, man. Now we did lose one round in this fire. So that means that we got six right there. And then we got those three that for some reason wind or flyer or whatever you want to call that. And uh, it looks like our, I mean, our, our group's still an inch and a half. Well, it's an inch and three eighths. But man, look at that. We got six of them. We, we got six of them within a half an inch, so... Wow, I'm, <laughs> I'm plumb amazed. Because I'll, I'll be straight up, guys. Y'all can, I've got earlier videos shooting this rifle with that ammo. And I uh, was feeling lucky to get an inch and a half group that was all around it there and there was no there was no 
you know, good group and then, you know, a couple out, outliers or whatever. Uh -uh, they were all like a shotgun pattern. <laughs> so, man, uh, I don't know, man. I, I didn't even bring out any of the nice ammo because I, I was figuring that just throwing a different scope ain't going to make all that much difference. But, wow, I'm going to tell y'all what. That's because of the scope. I know this now because I had the same problem with that Remington 597. I was not getting good groups with it. And when J Delta 22 saved my shooting life and sent me that right and conquer, that changed everything. Then the rifle shot. <laughs> or it allowed me to shoot. I mean, that rifle ain't going to do it by itself. And neither is that scope. You got to have somebody pull the trigger, but wow i'm impressed so yeah guys i have to say man i i'm not the smartest dude and i don't have near enough equipment to you know be saying one thing's better than the other that you should buy this or none of that i ain't selling anything I'm just trying to give folks an idea, man. And uh, the idea is uh, you're not going to beat it for the price, man. I, I went I just went to Amazon, man. I started scrolling through scopes. Something looked cool. The price was right. <laughs> you, I wasn't going to beat it. So I had to try it, man. It had a decent looking reticle. And at this point, um, I'm happy. It, it's, I'm happy. I just shot, y'all just saw that group that we got right over there. So, man, maybe I'll have to uh, bring that SK Standard Plus out here. Give it a whirl in that rifle. I don't think it's doing any, it ain't doing better. and ain't going to take the place of the 597 yet. But, uh, we'll see, man, yeah, we're going to do some more shooting with that thing, and, yeah, we're going to be loving on that scope a lot more, I bet, it's probably going to end up going even to a different rifle here, since it's working out well, I've got a, uh, 7mm odd 8 that needs a better scope on it, so, and, uh, but, man, for the, the price point on these things, Hopefully here in a couple months after I take care of some of the business y'all know I gotta handle. Uh, yeah, maybe I can get another one of them scopes. And uh, I will get another one. I, I guess Monstrum, that's something that's not bad. It, it ain't a center point. <laughs> and it ain't a whole lot more neither. You know, and, and uh, in comparison to that writing... Wow, I uh, it's less than half of that writing, and uh, it's nice, guys. So, it is an MOA. I don't know if there's a mill version or not. <clears throat> Since I had gotten used to the the mill version, I kind of like it. This MOA, though, I'm guessing you're supposed to be able to get more exact. You know, man, with your uh, with your dialing in and whatnot, and uh, I don't like I said, guys, I, I don't know enough about this stuff. And uh, swapping from one to the next doesn't really help any, but it keeps you on your toes, man. And, and this should always be some kind of a learning adventure, man. You gotta come out, do it, learn figure something out man and, and, and just get better just nobody's ever going to be perfect but we can come out man and we can get better every time so just keep that in mind guys we love y'all i hope y'all having a great weekend and we'll see y'all soon bye y'all